Hi, my name is Tashi, and you're watching Beauty in the Bar. So hello everyone, there are definitely some new faces around here, I want to say hi. And by request of one of my very good friends, Shelly, hi Shelly, um, I'm going to go ahead and do an eyeshadow tutorial, I'm going to give you the lazy girl's guide to looking like you know what you're doing with eyeshadow, this works with any colors. It's basically just a three shadow look and I'm also going to just tell you a little bit about myself, introduce myself to those of you who don't know me in real life and you know are just joining. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please consider it. It's a great time over here. Um, so yeah, Kelly Gooch, who I watch on YouTube and I think I've mentioned in just about every video, also did something very similar to this. Um, where she did like a very basic eye look. I don't know if it's on her YouTube, but it's definitely on her Instagram, so I will link that in the description. Hopefully I will remember. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's, let's just do it. So I'm gonna start out with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Minor Sin. I don't know why I thought having a shimmery eyeshadow primer was the best move for me at the time. I feel like a matte eyeshadow primer makes more sense because you're gonna put it in your crease, but I don't mind a shimmery eyeshadow primer even in my crease if I'm doing a shimmery look anyway. I'm kinda like, oh, glitter travels. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, I've already done the whole rest of my face and I'm just gonna do my eyes. In fact, I'm gonna scoot you guys in closer. I'm gonna get you all up in my grill. So this should be a little bit better for you guys to see what I'm doing. Um, this is a lot of my face for me, so. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with this eyeshadow primer. You don't need an eyeshadow primer if you don't um, have particularly like oily eyelids or you don't need anything that's hydrating, like you don't have um, mature eyelids, but it can help with the um, opacity of shadows, the vibrancy, and the lasting power. You can also just pat your concealer all over your eyes instead of adding an eyeshadow primer. Um, but yeah, this is this is what I'm gonna do and I'm just using the Stone Vibes palette. I'm gonna be using one of the eyeshadows in here but I'm also um, using it for its big giant mirror. I love this palette, I use it all the time. It's amazing. So yeah, just blending that out. So anyway, my name's Tashi. I live in Los Angeles. Um, I'm from Compton, California and Lakewood, California. Like my family lived in Compton until I was nine and then we moved to Lakewood, which is a nearby suburb that no one knows anything about, but there it is. Um, and I went to Howard for undergrad. I went to Yale for law school. I am a lawyer. I will be putting together in addition to some of these makeup videos. Wait, let me pause and tell you what I'm doing. So what you're gonna wanna do is get a matte eyeshadow in the color scheme that you're going for. Obviously you can mix colors if you want to, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna show you with the same color. And I've decided to do green to just show you can do it with any eyeshadow. And also because I love green eyeshadow. So um, just take a matte eyeshadow, uh, a lighter, you're gonna need a lighter eyeshadow in that color and a darker eyeshadow in that color, both matte. Um, basically you need a light shimmer, a dark shimmer, a light matte, and a dark matte just to prepare you. This is what we're doing. So it's really a four eyeshadow look. You can do it with three eyeshadows, but I like to do four. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna take um, the shade, what is this called? Uh, Time is Money from the Fenty uh, Snap Shadows palette in the colorway Money. It's super, super powdery, but I really, I really like this formula. It's very easy like to blend out and it's just nice colors. So you're gonna take that on a fluffy brush. Make sure it's fluffy. If you get something that's dense or like flat, it's, um, it's not gonna blend well. It can get patchy really easily, especially if you don't have eyeshadow primer on. But yeah, just take that in your crease right up here like a windshield wiper. And the most important thing is to blend very thoroughly. So, hi baby. Callie's decided to come here and investigate because um, she has to involve herself with absolutely everything. She is the busiest of bodies. Hi, do you want to say hello or do you want to step all over the makeup? Come here. Here she is. Say hi. <laughs> She's so cute. 
Little brat. You can't, okay, I guess you can sit in my lap. That's fine, you can. But you, you can't eat my makeup. That's the only thing that's a no-no right now. Okay, so, and you're gonna do that on both eyes. Um, so what was I saying? Right, so I'm a lawyer and I'm a first generation um, law school student. I was a first generation college student, but uh, while I was in law school, my dad got his bachelor's degree. I'm so proud of him. Hi dad, if you're watching. Um, so I'm kind of not a first generation college student anymore, but like at the time that I was applying and going through school, I was. <laughs> um, and I'm definitely a first generation law student. I didn't really have a lot of lawyers or any lawyers actually in my family. I think I had one cousin in Alabama, but generally there were no lawyers in my family. And so um, I kind of had to figure out the whole law school admissions process on my own. I mean, with online resources and obviously I didn't like, you know, it's not like I came up with that it's all me. Um, there were people that helped me along the way. Um, for instance, I had a professor at Howard, attorney Angela Minor. Hi, attorney Minor, if you're watching, you're amazing. Um, who is obviously an attorney and was my mock trial coach and you know people like that in my life but as far as like growing up in my family goes I didn't really um, make sure you blend out the edges by the way sorry I'm just blurting out the eyeshadow things as I go but just make blend that's the most important thing um, so yeah attorney minor is amazing I didn't have any lawyers in my family, uh, so I had to figure out how to get into a top law school um, using a lot of online resources and a lot of, doing a lot of research, talking to a lot of people, and I figured it out. I have filmed and edited a series of videos about how to get into law school. It goes through every part of the law school application process, um, basically, you know, we, I have a video on the LSAT, a video on personal statement on GPA, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm going to be posting those kind of like in the coming time. I'm still going to be posting beauty content alongside that because I know most of you are here for beauty, but it's just something I wanted to kind of put out there in the world because it's a resource that I wish I had had when I was going through this process. And I also think it's going to be super helpful for people, especially people who are like first generation professionals, first generation law students specifically. So I just want to get it out there. If people want to watch it, then that's great. Um, and you know, otherwise just go ahead and, and ignore and click on the beauty content. Cause honestly that's the content I have more fun making, but I just feel like some sort of communal obligation to post the law school stuff and people in my personal life have expressed interest in it anyway so I'm like all right I will make these things for you so you don't have to sit there at my leisure and listen to me talk on the phone directly to you for however many hours and I don't have to repeat myself however much um but yeah so anyway Next thing you're going to do, which I already started doing and should have explained, take a smaller, denser brush and a deeper or at least different matte shade and put it deeper into the crease, like only just in this little bit and then out on your outer corner of your eye. And the shade I'm using right now is G Train from the Urban Decay uh, On The Run palette in the shade G Train. Okay, so the shade and the palette are the same color. It's this dark green matte over here. I wish these colors were a little bit uh, less similar on my eye. Like in the pans, you can see they look like two very different eyeshadows. This one over here in the corner and then this one over here. But on my eye, <laughs> the greens are not looking that different. So that's a series that's going to be coming out and other than that I'm really interested in just posting makeup content because I have more fun filming that because it's, you know, more of a hobby for me. It's definitely more casual and it's a more um, opinion focused. I was telling my best friend slash roommate this before that like when I film content about how to get into law school, it's pretty much just clean facts. and you know when it comes to that you have to really like check all your boxes be on your p's and q's because people are going to fact check you and um you know you're just trying to get the information out there in the clearest way possible there's not as much like fun and creativity in it 
But when it comes to makeup stuff, it's like all my opinions and just what I think and just what I think looks pretty and what I like to work with. And so it's a lot easier to film because I don't need to plan it as much. It's kind of coming straight out of my head and you know, no one can tell me that I don't like something or that I should like something. And I'm also not trying to tell anybody what they should like. I'm just giving my own opinions. So it's just a lot easier and for me more fun content to produce or I'm finding so far with all of my wealth of experience producing YouTube videos. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm putting that deeper in the crease. And this is a little bit trust the process as well because obviously this looks very green. If green eyeshadow is not for you, if you're like, you know what, I'm not a green eyeshadow person, it's fine. Just choose a color that's for you. If you want to do this with brown, if you want to do this with pink or purple, it's the same method. Lighter shade of the matte shadow, darker shade of a matte shadow, and then we're going to move on. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is take a shimmer shadow. If you have something like a, just a shimmer, you're, want, you're gonna wanna take a flat brush like this. This is a Sephora concealer brush um, and wet it. You can wet it with water or a facial mist. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray because I have a huge bottle of that. And I think setting spray works a little better than just plain water to kind of pump up the color. You're gonna spray that on. If you're starting out with um, a pressed glitter, probably you should probably use your finger. But this is a shimmer. It's the it's another shade from the Fenty Snap Shadows. It's the shade Fat Pockets. And that that one right there. I'm gonna use that one. This is all gonna be like a very deep green look. So I'm just kind of like taking some of that on the wet brush, like it's paint in a way it is. Uh, and I'm gonna just focus that on the outer like third to one half of my eyelid. My makeup philosophy. Generally makeup is just fun and enjoyable and everyone should be able to use and enjoy it uh, regardless of, you know, age, gender, anything like budget everyone should be able to have fun with makeup it's a creative art form now i'm not saying everybody should use makeup because some people just don't have an interest in it and that's perfectly fine but everyone should be able to if they want to and should be able to do it the way that they want there's no set of rules like i'm showing you this basic eye look right now but i'm gonna do it with green eyeshadow and not everyone's gonna like green eyeshadow and not everyone's gonna feel like this is the way to do your eyeshadow there's no one way you should be able to do whatever it is you want to do. That's kind of my makeup philosophy. Makeup is, it can be used as a professional tool. It can be used in more serious settings. Like for instance, I plan to film some content about like how you can do your makeup for work, like a basic work look. But generally, I just think it's fun. Like that's the part that I like. I like, I mean, I think that that's the part that most people like is the more fun part. It's not the putting on just your basic makeup to make, you know, to cover up blemishes or something. It's like you like highlighting things. You like feeling pretty. It's art on your face. It's this beautiful tableau that gets like washed away at the end of the day and exists but for a moment. So I don't know. I really like makeup. And then, okay, so what I'm doing is taking that original fluffy brush and just blending everything together in the crease. So going back over and blending once again. If you only wanted to do a three shadow look, you could just put that shimmer shade that I only put on the outer third on the entire lid. But I want to punch it up with this Stoned Vibes palette because I, this Stoned Vibes palette because I always want to punch it up with the Stoned Vibes palette. I can't resist myself. I can't resist it. I don't have the restraint to not do it. So yeah, it's just very important to blend. You kind of can never do enough blending or too much, I, I shouldn't say enough, you can do enough. You can never do too much blend, well, depending on the shadows, some shadows actually do blend out to nothing, but try to do as much blending as you can before you just tire of it or run out of time. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is take the shade Jade, this is a very big mirror, the shade Jade, which is this green shade from the Stone Vibes palette, and I'm gonna put that on the inner uh, about 
two thirds of my eyelid. And I'm gonna use my finger because this is one of those that is like very much a pressed glitter you should use your finger for. And if you are gonna use a pressed glitter, by the way, you should probably do your eye makeup first and your base makeup after, but because I wasn't planning to show my base makeup on camera, I had that done already. So I'm probably gonna get some fallout on my uh, face and that's just fine. I'm just gonna deal with that. And uh, you know, maybe if you don't mind glitter on your face, then you don't care. You can also try to use a glitter eye primer, like a glitter glue. I know e.l.f. makes one. Um, I think Smashbox makes one. Maybe Wet n Wild, like there's a bunch of glitter glues out there. They kind of go a little further than a regular eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer. I have an e.l.f. glitter glue. And I don't think, I don't think it's, it gives what I hoped it would give, but. And I'm gonna be honest, when it comes to pressed glitter, things get messy and I'm not like the best at keeping, <laughs> keeping things where they should be. But that's kind of the point of this. Like you don't really need to be a pro to do this kind of a look. It's kind of smoky. It's kind of like, you know, it's gonna come out okay, even if you're no expert, which I'm obviously not. So I wanna talk a little bit about what I want this channel to be and kind of my plans for it. Um, for me, this is a hobby and it's an outlet and it's bringing me a lot of joy right now. So I'm just, I'm putting the time in because I have the time right now and it's just, it's giving me dopamine, which is so precious. Like dopamine and serotonin are so precious to me in my life right now. And I think more and more precious to people as this pandemic wears on and on and on. And I'm just kind of like trying to follow my joy and that, in part means doing things that my body naturally just wants me to do more of. And I mean, there definitely is some value to getting like that immediate instant gratification when I post something and people like it and share it and comment on it. I get to interact with people. They tell me like, oh, I think this thing you made is cool. It makes me feel great. So, I mean, I'm sure that as time goes on, I will get people who aren't as nice um, if I continue to do this, but for now, this has just been great. You guys have all been wonderful and I've been having a really great time and I'll just deal with that when the time comes. And I get also, you know, if I haven't mentioned this before, I am open to constructive criticism. This is definitely a growing journey for me. I don't know anything about photography. I don't know anything about filmmaking. I don't know anything about editing. So I'm just doing it as it goes on. And, and every time someone sort of comments, I, I try to take it into account, maybe try to take into account how I can make it better. So yeah, someone mentioned that the sound quality was not great. I got a new microphone. I hope it's improved um, because it was not super cheap in my opinion. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna um, clean up the edges a little bit. It got kind of out of control over on this side. So I have a makeup wipe here and I'm just cleaning up the edges. You can use like tape or even concealer to you can use tape to prevent the eyeshadow from going everywhere, or you can use, um, in the first place basically, or you can use concealer um, to kind of clean it up and cover it up. I like to have, especially for something, um, for someone that's not as experienced with makeup, to just have kind of like a smoked out look and not, oops, sorry, <laughs> to just have kind of like a smoked out look and not um, look to go, be too careful about getting a, a crisp line. So um, I just use a makeup wipe. There is makeup remover on a makeup wipe. So what I'm gonna do is kind of smoke it out again, but not let it get so crazy. But first I wanna dab off and make sure that area is dry because if it still has the makeup remover on it, then the eyeshadow will not go over that area. I have learned that the hard way, um, unfortunately multiple times. So I'm just spreading it a little bit more down here. For some reason, I have this patch right up here that like will not take eyeshadow no matter what I do. It never looks as opaque as the rest of my eyes. It's always like, you know, we think we're gonna not. Even if I put eyeshadow primer on there, it's just like there is this spot where my eyeshadow just refuses to be opaque. It just flat out refuses. What can I do? What can I do? 
So yeah, and I'm taking a little bit more of G Train, the darker green matte shade. I mean, it's all green, but the darker matte shade and just blending it out some more. All right, so I'm gonna move on to eyeliner. Um, I have the Kat Von D liquid liner or tattoo liner in the shade Trooper, which is just black. I am not great at liquid liner, so bear with me. And I usually start kind of with a thin line about one third of the way into my lid and then just keep going outward until I get to the end of my lid and bring it up so it gets a little bit thicker. I don't know how well you can see that. But I'm gonna do the other side. The other side is harder because I'm right-handed. Ugh. Ugh, panic, this is where it all goes wrong. So yeah, just starting like, kind of right where my eyelashes start to be visible, about one third into my eye. And taking it out and the line gets just ever so thicker the further out I go. I can't talk while I do this, it takes my full concentration. Whew, hard part's done. Okay, we're out here guys. Okay, um, so I just want this channel to, to be a place for me to kind of explore my love of makeup and um, my motivations for purchasing and how I'm feeling about all of that and be an outlet and be a hobby and be a place for other people who are like-minded to have community and that's pretty much it. I just, I'm cooped up in my home and I need an outlet and this is where it's going right now. Right now I'm taking just a black eyeliner. Any black eyeliner will work, of course. Of course with all this stuff, just use what you have. Um, you don't need the Kat Von D liquid liner, obviously. You don't need the particular green eyeshadows that I have. Just use what you have, but this is the Ciate Wonder Wand in the black color. I'm pretty sure it's just called black. I can't. 87 black and I just put that in my waterline you can also use a more fun eyeliner like I could have gone blue or purple um, but I'm just doing I'm just doing black right now it's just the mood I'm in and then I'm gonna take the a mascara indie mascara will do this is the urban decay perversion mascara in bigger <laughs> well actually I don't know if there's a shade but it says bigger black or badder I don't think there's a shade I think it's just it's just the one mascara. You guys know about mascara. You know how this goes. I have noticed some people curl their eyelashes before they put on mascara. And I always do it after, which does get my curling lash, curling uh, wand kind of dirty, but it is what it is. I've also seen people do it like both before and after. So anyway, the reason this channel is called Beauty in the Bar is because I am a lawyer and I am into beauty and I am going to be posting some content about being a lawyer after the How to Get in the Law School series. I don't know how much more like law related content I'm going to post. It just depends on interest, but on my interest and on interest of other people in watching it. But uh, I mean, I did have some ideas about like, you know, for instance, how to deal with anxiety in law school, what the process looks like when you're interviewing for law firms, what's a billable hour, um, you know, just different videos that I am interested in making for anyone who's interested in hearing about those topics. So I'm also putting a little bit on the bottom lashes. Just to open up my eyes, it's gonna make your eyes look, basically everything I'm doing is just gonna make your eyes look way bigger. Um, obviously adding bright green eyeshadow to your eyes makes your eyes look bigger. Um, kind of lining your eyes. Black eyeliner can sometimes make your eyes look smaller, but basically you're just drawing attention to the eyes, makes them look bigger. Opening up your eyes with bigger lashes. This is the Mally Volumizing Mascara. 
I'm using this on top of the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara because it just provides a little bit more volume. This mascara is drying out a little bit, so I've been using it as a nice topper and it's working really well for that purpose, even though it's like almost dead. This mascara is unfortunately discontinued, but honestly it's really clumpy. So I think a lot of people wouldn't necessarily love this anyway. But yeah, I think the Urban Decay one adds some volume, definitely some length, and this is just adding more, um, more volume for me. Then I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes. Eyelash skin, oh. No matter what I do, I always get a little bit of my eyelash skin caught in the eyelash curler. Okay, so that's about it. That's how I get big, smoky, colorful eyes. That's the basic one, two, three. You can do use three or four eyeshadows in any color family or even different colors depending on how wild and fancy you want to get with it in order to do this kind of an eye look um if you look at a couple of my older videos when i have like a full face of purple makeup this is pretty much exactly what i did but just with purple eyeshadow when i have on orange eyeshadow this is somewhat what i did with orange eyeshadow so you see where i'm going with this Anyway, that's it. That's the tutorial. That's my get ready with me. That's me introducing myself to you guys. If you like this video and you want to see me make more, please like, subscribe, share, comment, and let me know that you want to see more because I like making these videos. I like filming them, but I could use the encouragement because sometimes I get sleepy and also because I don't like editing. So that's about it. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time.